right now. The search is on for a Virginia mother and her three young children missing for about two weeks now, but her husband claims they're fine. 30 year old Lauren Cook was last seen with her three children ages two, five and seven at the family's home in Virginia at the end of August. Police say Cook last spoke with her mother around September 5th with Cook telling her they were in New York visiting family. Remember, no one saw her. They were officially reported missing September 13th after Cook did not attend a rescheduled appearance in Franklin County Juvenile and Domestic Relations Court. The next day, investigators confirmed Cook and her children were in Illinois, but again, no one had seen them. Her husband says that he has talked to Lauren and that the children are doing well and that he wants everyone to respect their family's privacy right now. But the rest of Lauren's family says they cannot get in touch with her. Let's bring in News Nation Law and Justice contributor Jennifer Koffendoffer, who joins us live from CrimeCon in Orlando, Florida. Uh, Jennifer, thank you so much for being with us. I want to talk to you about CrimeCon, but first I want to talk about this case. Um, so the husband here, Lauren's husband, says things are fine. Law enforcement, though, you know, says Cook and her kids will remain on the missing registry because that's their names are on the missing registry. What do you think's going on here, Jennifer? Well, I think what's going on is the husband is not being truthful and is not being completely candid. Her cell phone doesn't have usage. There are no bank records that are being used. In other words, she's not using her credit cards. She's not using her bank cards. That tells me a lot right there because people don't disappear and leave their husbands without using their monetary resources and without using their phones. You know, so Jennifer, it seems like it would be difficult, as you say, you know, no cell phone usage, no credit cards. It seems like it would be difficult to do that, especially with three young children in tow. Again, we're talking about ages seven, five, and then two, but it is not out of the realm of possibility. Is it possible that maybe Lauren left her husband and doesn't want to be found? I don't think it's possible in this case. Certainly, they're going to be checking it out. But if you look at the fact that Nick Mick, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, they have already issued that these individuals are missing. Why? Because they've conducted their own investigation, which has shown that they're not in school, that there's been no sign or trace of them. That tells me the facts are leaning toward they haven't been taken of their free will. All right, and this all started, as we said at the top of this, you know, Lauren missed that appearance last week, um, and we say the court because it's important, this juvenile and domestic relations court. And then that date that she missed had actually been rescheduled because she missed the original scheduled court date the week before. Now, it's also important to note in all of this, there is no record, absolutely none, of domestic violence or 911 calls coming from their home. So how does all of this potentially complicate the situation? Well, it does complicate the situation, Nicole, because those courts specifically deal with things like child abuse. They deal with issues like uh, separation and custody matters to do with children. So it tells me, obviously, something very important was being discussed about those children. And the fact that that was missed and she went missing right at the same time, I think is a critical component to the why. But we are certainly going to continue to keep our eye on this case. Hopefully Lauren and the children will come home safely. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.